everybody. Watashi wa arutaus desu. Did you catch that? I've just used the expression watashi wa desu, which we practiced last time. Do you still remember it? This expression is used to tell about watashi or oneself. Watashi wa kaiho desu. Watashi wa mine desu. Remember that? When you add dozo yoroshiku after watashi wa desu, you have the single most common pattern for introducing yourself. In the scene we just saw, Taro introduced himself to Yang, whom he was meeting for the first time, by saying, Hajime mashite, Taro desu. Literally, hajime mashite means I am meeting you for the first time, and it is another common method of greeting people one meets for the first time. Today, we'll review what we learned last time, take up a few new sentences, and then, to conclude today's lesson, we'll take another look at part one of our skit. All right, do you remember what this is called? Answer in Japanese. それは鉛筆です。それは鉛筆です。That's right. これは鉛筆です。Well then, what's this in Japanese? それはテキストです。それはテキストです。That's right. Did you notice that just now Kaiho san said Sore wa tekisto desu? But I said Kore wa tekisto desu. Do you remember the reason? That's right. If a thing is thought of as being close to the listener, Sore wa is used. On the other hand, if it is thought of as being close to the speaker, or if the speaker is holding it, Kore wa is used. これは椅子です。これは椅子です。これは何ですか？それはタバコです。これはタバコです。これは何ですか？それは新聞です。これは新聞です。これは何ですか？それはメガネです。これはメガネです。これは何ですか？これは傘です。これは傘です。
Now, are you sure of the difference between kore and sore? In the presentation, did you notice that whenever Minesan produced a new object, he used this expression? Kore wa nan desu ka? Kore wa nan desu ka? Kore wa nan desu ka is used when you want to ask what something is. Now we'll have Kaiho san say it and you repeat after him. But keep in mind that this is pronunciation practice and not a conversation between you and Kaiho san. All right, Kaiho san, please. Kore wa nan desu ka? Kore wa nan desu ka? Kore wa nan desu ka? Were you able to imitate his pronunciation all right? Next, we'll have Minesan produce various things again, and this time you ask him what they are. But of course, when you ask him what the things he has are, you mustn't ask, Kore wa nan desu ka? What should you say? That's right. When you ask Minesan what the things he has are, you should say, Sore wa nan desu ka? Okay. Let's go right ahead and try it. Go ahead, ask him what that is. Sore wa nan desu ka? Kore wa isu desu. Do you remember what that's called? Ask Minesan what it is. Sore wa nan desu ka? Kore wa tabako desu. Ah, what's that called? Ask him what it is. Sore wa nan desu ka? Kore wa shinbun desu. he have now? Ask him and see. Sore wa nan desu ka? Kore wa megane desu. What's this that Sunihara-san has brought? Ask her what it is. Sore wa nan desu ka? Kore wa kasa desu. Doumo arigatou. How did that go? You didn't have any trouble asking them what the objects were, did you? At the very end, Minesan said, Domo arigato. This phrase is used to thank someone. When you want to be polite, say, Arigato gozaimasu, or Domo arigato gozaimasu. Let's have Kaiho san repeat these expressions for us. Arigato gozaimasu. Domo arigato gozaimasu. Today we have a special guest with us to give a demonstration of an unusual craft. Kojima-san is an expert at harigane zaiku, which means bending a wire into the shape of various objects. This craft is said to have started around the end of the 19th century, and for many years after that, men like Kojima-san were a familiar sight at fairs and carnivals around the country where they gave a demonstration of their skills. This craft is now dying out, but for most older Japanese, the sight of these wire objects arouses strong feelings of nostalgia.
There are all sorts of objects arranged here, aren't there? As we find out what they are, you listen carefully, paying special attention to the use of cordet and soret. He says this is a bicycle. Minasan, would you say that for us in Japanese? He says it's a helicopter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the rotors even revolve. What is this? What is this? What is this? This is a car. This is a car. In Japanese, the word for car is jidosha or sometimes kuruma. あの。いえ。プレゼントです。どうもありがとう。これは何ですか？それは車です。You don't have trouble with kore and sore anymore, do you? When the speaker talks about something he has, he uses kore. When he talks about something the person he's speaking to has, he uses sore. But how should a person refer to something which isn't close either to himself or to the person he's speaking to? In that case, the word are is used. Ah, are you a Ah, When you are asked, are wa nan desu ka? Then the object in question is within neither the questioner's zone nor your own. So incidentally, are wa is used in the answer too. The fireworks were beautiful, weren't they? In Japan in the summertime, Fireworks displays are shown all over the country. Children enjoy setting off sparklers, too. Well, getting back to Ale, let's take a look at the skit about Yang and see how it was used there. Kato-san, what is that? This is called a danch. A danch is a group of high-rise apartment buildings. Of course, there are many single-family houses in Japan, but to help ease the housing shortage, Many of these danchi have been built all around the country. We had Kaiho-san and Mine-san do this exchange slowly, so I don't think you had any trouble understanding them. Now, let's watch the same scene again at normal speed. Kato-san, what is that? What is that? 
あああれは団地です団地ええ全部住宅ですへえ I'm sure by now you've got これそれ and あれ down pat so we'll ask you some questions and you answer using the appropriate word これは何ですか。それは傘です。これは傘です。あれは何ですか。あれは飛行機です。これはカメラですこれは何ですかこれは何ですか In answering the last question, didn't you want to say that is a camera too? In Japanese, you say それもカメラです何ですかそれはカメラですこれは何ですかそれもカメラですこれもカメラですかはい、それもカメラですこれも何ですかこれも何ですかこれも何ですかこれも何ですかこれも何ですかこれも何ですかこれも何ですかこれも何ですかこれも何ですかこれも何ですかこれも何ですかこれも何ですかこれも何ですかこれも何ですかこれも何ですかそれもカメラですかはい、それもカメラです<笑>これもカメラですか<笑> But that doesn't look like a camera to me. It seems to be a radio. In Japanese, the word for radio is radio. But how can we tell Sugihara san that she's wrong? これもカメラですかいいえ、それはカメラではありませんこれはラジオです To tell a person who's asked you this question that he's wrong, you say いいえ、and then continue with this reply それはではありません Let's practice repeating this after Mine san いいえ、それはカメラではありません。いいえ、それはカメラではありません。Now, if someone asks you これもカメラですか、you'll be able to answer either yes or no, won't you? To answer in the affirmative, you say はい。それもカメラです。And to answer in the negative, you say, いいえ、それはカメラではありません。これは海保さんのですかいいえ、私のではありません。先生のですかスギハラさん is puzzled because she doesn't know who the radio and the camera belong to 
She needs to use the expression for whose are these or whose is this. Let's find out how to say that. This is how to ask who something belongs to. Dare means who, and so dare no means whose. Now, let's have Sugihara san find out who those things belong to. Well, she seems to have found the owner of the radio. Did you notice this? When Minisan appeared to claim his radio, he said, Sono radio wa watashi no desu. Sono radio is more specific than sore. Likewise, to make clearer what I'm talking about, I can say kono tekisto instead of kore and ano kamera instead of are. In the skit about Jan, you heard kono kuruma and ano biru. Did you catch those parts? In a minute, we'll see the skit again. But first, let's look once more at the sentences we practiced today. First, are wa nan desu ka? And second, kore mo kamera desu. And kore wa kamera de wa arimasen. You don't have any trouble with any of these now, do you? And finally, kore wa dare no desu ka? You remember these sentence patterns, don't you? They appear in the skit, so listen for them. Now, let me add two simple explanations. The first one concerns Nihon no Kuruma. This means a Japanese make of car. Second, the phrase e so desu will appear. It means that's right or you're right. Well then, with these things in mind, let's watch the skit once more. いいえ。じゃあ。どうもすみません。こちらこそどうも。
ったしのです。あ、あ,あ、どうもすみません。どうもすみません。すこの車は太郎さんのですか。いえ、私のです。日本の車ですか。いえ、そうです。ヤンさん。あれ、あのビル。ああ、あれは団地です。団地。ええ、全部住宅です。へえ初めまして、ヤンです。私みどりです。どうぞよろしく。みどりさん、よろしくお願いします。ああ、どうも。ああ、よかったね。<笑>さあ、ヤンさん、どうぞ。乾杯しましょう。乾杯。